St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by contributions from two donors. The first is J. Claire LePage from Windsor, Ontario, for the repose of the soul of his wife, Vera, who died February 23, 1994. The second donors are Marie and Rose Godet and Charles Boudreau from Moncton, New Brunswick, for the deceased members of their families in thanksgiving for the daily mass and for favors received. Our thanks to Mr. LePage in Windsor, Ontario, Marie and Rose Godet and Charles Boudreau in Moncton uh, for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace, the peace, and the love of God be with you all. We come together to offer the Eucharist to remember that Jesus is really present, not just in bread and wine, but also in the readings and in each one of us. Let us renew our belief in that real presence of the risen Christ. You came that we might have life, Lord have mercy. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Christ, have mercy. You offer us the hope of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord, our help and guide, make your love the foundation of our lives. May our love for you express itself in our eagerness to do good for others. We ask this of you, risen from the dead, living with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. The Lord created human beings out of the earth and makes them return to it again. He gave them a fixed number of days, but granted them authority over everything on earth he endowed them with strength proper to them and made them in his own image. He put the fear of them in all living beings and gave them dominion over beasts and birds, discretion and tongue and eyes and ears and a mind for thinking he gave them. He filled them with knowledge and understanding and showed them good and evil. He put the fear of him into their hearts to show them the majesty of his works. And they will praise his holy name to proclaim the grandeur of his works. He bestowed knowledge upon them and allotted to them the law of life. He established with them an eternal covenant and revealed to them his decrees. Their eyes saw his glorious majesty, and their ears heard the glory of his voice. He said to them, Beware of all evil. And he gave commandment to each of them concerning the neighbor. Their ways are always known to him. They will not be hid from his eyes. The word of the Lord. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who Let's 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing little children to Jesus in order that he might touch them, and the disciples spoke severely to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And Jesus took the children up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. The Gospel of the Lord. At Sunday Mass, I see the little children from kindergarten to grade three come forward for their special reading of the gospel in the sacristy. Come forward is probably not the right words. Run would be a better word for some of them. Maybe even skip forward. And many hands go up when the priest asks, Who wants to carry the gospel book? They leave for their special session, and the rest of us, the grown-ups, we begin Mass with the opening prayers and the three readings, and then we sit down for the homily, hoping maybe to hear something useful, maybe something new, not just more of the same. And then whenever I come across today's gospel, I think back to uh, a visit to a kindergarten class in one of the uh, Toronto Catholic District school boards, schools. I was there to plan an upcoming renewal day for the staff and the kindergarten teacher was on the preparation committee. And she and I were going over some final details when the children came in after, or came for their afternoon classes. It was about this time of the year, so a bit cold, and they arrived in snowsuits and boots. And after these had been unzipped and removed, the children gathered in a circle on the floor. Uh, The teacher asked if I would say uh, an opening prayer 
So I uh, sat down on the floor as part of the circle. We made the sign of the cross together very slowly and uh, got through what uh, I thought was, a, well, a fairly simple and a fairly good prayer. Then we made the sign of the cross again. And as we did that, from across the circle, I could see this little guy waving his hand. Uh, yes, I said to him. I know a much better prayer than that, he said. So uh, swallowing a little bit, I uh, managed to say, uh, well, <clears throat> okay, uh, what is your much better prayer? So he then blessed himself, once again very slowly, and said his prayer, for all that lies before us, thanks be to God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I had to admit, his prayer was a much better prayer than mine. Short, one sentence, it said a great deal. And then, of course, there are so many stories about kids saying the darndest things. There's a story of one uh, Sunday school teacher describing how in the Bible, uh, Lot's wife looked back and was turned into a pillar of salt. And Jason, little Jason, interrupted saying, hey, my mommy looked back once when she was driving and she turned into a telephone pole. <laughs> Or there was the teacher who told her class the story of the, uh, the Good Samaritan. And then she asked, if, if you saw a person lying on the roadside, all wounded and bleeding, what would you do? There was silence for a few seconds. And then the little girl said, I think, I think I'd throw up. <laughs> Well, back to today's gospel. The disciples wanted to keep these little ones away from Jesus. They didn't want them interrupting him. And once again, as so often in the gospels, they got it wrong. It's the only time in the gospels we hear Jesus getting indignant with them. That's the word that's used, indignant, angry, annoyed, Furious, exasperated, mad. Let the little children come to me. And then he took them in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. They counted in his way of life. The kingdom of God is not reserved for grown ups only. In it, there's room for everyone. The rich and the poor, the last, the least, the lost, and the little, grown-ups and children. As one writer put it, Catholic means here comes everybody. So to finish two more short stories, a little boy was overheard praying, God, my mommy told me I was to ask you to make me a better boy. But if you can't do that, don't worry. I'm having a real good time as I am. And finally, the teacher who asked her children, why is it necessary to be quiet in church? No answer for several seconds. And finally, one little fellow replied, because in church, people are sleeping.
Out of the request for several intentions, let us pray for young people today that they may grow up knowing they are loved and wanted. We pray to the Lord. For those who are suffering with mental illness and for their families, we pray to the Lord. For parents, grade school teachers, and nursing home caregivers, we pray to the Lord. For the prayer requests we have received and for our own intentions, we pray to the Lord. Angels of God, guardians dear, to whom God's love commits them here, ever this day be at their side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray that our offering of Eucharist may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Lord, accept the prayers and gifts we offer in faith and love. May this Eucharist bring us to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. In love you created us, in justice you condemned us, but in mercy you redeemed us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels and all the choirs of heaven worship in awe before your presence. May our voices be one with theirs as they sing with joy the hymn of your glory. the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, 
it will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim this mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. In memory of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, and all our bishops. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer one another that peace of the Lord. of God who takes away the sin of the world, blessed are those invited to communion with him. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
With those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer for the sick and for all who are in need. Watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, rest the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous. In your love, give us all this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, may the body and blood of your Son give us a share in his life, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go from this Mass in the peace of Christ. Our thanks to two donors. The first is J. Claire LePage from Windsor, Ontario. The second donors are Marie and Rose Gaudet and Charles Boudreau from Moncton, New Brunswick. And it's their generous contributions that made the televising of today's Mass possible. On behalf of Father Bush, Father Coots, Father Fitzpatrick, Father Donovan, Father Lynch, and all of us here at Daily Mass, our best wishes for a restful weekend, and we'll be looking for you all again. Come Monday.